welcome to Kid Missing TV. I'm your host, Angelina Wilson. <clears throat> this is the first case of Oddities October. And this is the case of Eloise Warlich. Eloise was eight years old when she disappeared from her home in the suburbs of Melbourne, Australia, in the town of Beaumaris, on January 12, 1976. Now, before I go any further, that is summer vacation. <laughs> I know, it sounds weird, but you have to remember, she's in Australia. Everything is completely backwards, they're in a different hemisphere. Literally, their toilets flush in the opposite direction. Their, um, hurricanes go in the other direction, so they're called a typhoon. Um, her brother was the first one to notice that she was not in her room at 7.30 in the morning. <coughs> he later told police he thought he heard robbers kidnap his sister but was too scared to say anything. I found it. The one I was looking for. <laughs> anyway, anyway, put that there. And was afraid to say anything. Um, because he thought they would take him too. <coughs> there was no sign of a struggle. And there were no signs of a forced entry, which is really weird. They believe she was lured by someone she knew. They couldn't discount that she was abducted by a prowler that was known to be in the area at the time. A speeding car went down her street about 2 a.m. and was noticed by a neighbor. Um, and bark from the tree outside of her window was found on her bedroom floor. So either she climbed out or someone climbed in. And I'm not seeing an eight-year-old doing that. Um, um, a small hole had been cut in the window screen. Um, forensic tests revealed it had been cut from the inside. Police believed it was too small to have been used by the abductor. So she was not taken through her window. Um, her parents were treated as suspects. Um, and it was the biggest search in the state of Victoria's history at the time. And they had a $10,000 reward posted in 1976. That's a lot of money today. Can you imagine what that was in 1976? Um, in 2001, Homicide investigators reopened the case. Hmm. She's described as a pretty blonde with a toothy smile. Um, Um, she had another brother who checked on her before he went to bed, um, but her brother Blake was the one that raised the alarm. Her father passed away without ever knowing what happened to her. His name was Lindsay Warledge. Oh, Lindsay is her father, not her brother. It was her father that peeked in on her. Very sad. Um, 
I don't have a phone number for this case. But you can certainly call um, the police in Victoria, Australia. Um, thank you so much for listening to this case. I'm sorry that I don't have more. Um, My gut is that the person was going to take her out the bedroom window or cut the window to cast suspicion on Barrett's. You know what I mean? Um, it was done for a calculated reason. And I believe she was taken out the door. And I do believe that it's possible even likely that it was someone she knew or she would have excuse me put up a commotion I think any eight year old would these are my opinions <laughs> thank you so much for joining me God bless you have a wonderful rest of your day um, and I will see you next time with more oddities October I got you